Hello, YouTube family. This is Grammy, y'all. I am coming at you guys with my food dehydrator. Yes, I said food dehydrator. I am so sad to say, it's kind of embarrassing. I think I've had this food hydrator, dehydrator for about three years. Yes, this is just a small one. It's by Miki, M-E-Y-K-E-Y or my key, however you pronounce it. Anyway, it's a dehydrator, you guys. So this is my first time. So I'm going to try my hand at this dehydrator, you guys. So what I did was I wanted to, let me take off this. What I did was I wanted to, sorry about that, try my hand at some pineapples. So I got the store brand <laughs> pineapple slices, four cans, and I got, some pear halves. So the four cans fill this up. So some of the um, pineapple slices, I had to put it in half. I had to cut them in half. And so what you do is just load them up on the tray, give them a little space. This is the second tray. And did I tell you, you must drain the juice off. Here is the juice from the four cans of pineapples, you guys. So what Grammy going to do is I'm going to take this pineapple juice and make me some pineapple jam or jelly or something like that out of this juice. Okay. I'm going to can it. So we're going to have some type of pineapple jam, jelly preserves or something like that. Okay. And so, yeah, so just load it up on my tray like that. If you decide to get a dehydrator, they're round ones, square ones, whatever. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff out there. Amazon, uh, my daughter-in-law, we got this from Sears. They were going out of business like three years ago or maybe four years ago, and it was only 30 bucks. So I said, let me try my hand at this. So, um... I can see how it works out, okay? And so I got to my, let me see, one, two, three, four. This one has five trays. I got to my fifth tray and I ran out of pineapples. So I decided to try some half peaches. So these are peach halves, but you know, the peach halves are so thick. And so I, what I did was I just went down through it and sliced it to, um, so they won't be so thick because they probably will take forever to dry out, okay? And then I did the same with the rest of the peaches. I just sliced them. See, I just took off the top and that's still kind of thick. I just took off the top and then it left me with that ring, okay? So, yes, yeah, so I didn't want to not have an empty tray, so that's why I decided to do some peaches as well. So, I have five trays of fruit on here, you guys, and I'm going to put my top on. It is so simple, according to the directions, and I've watched several people on YouTube, and um, I'm like, I can do this. Let me pull out my dehydrator. And so what I'm going to have to do is just turn it on and I'm going to set it for 140 degrees and I'm going to set it for 14 hours. Yes, at 140 degrees, you guys. Yes, and then I'm just going to let it do what it do. And so I will come back after the 14 hours, you guys, so we can try it, taste it, and um, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, family? All right. I'll be right back at you. Okay, family. I am back after 14 hours. Um, I had to sleep <laughs> while this was running. It wasn't loud, but just the fact of something was on all night long while I was sleeping. So, but anyway, um, 14 hours later, this is what we have, okay? 
Wow. Look at the peaches. This is perfect. I'm not really feeling these. That's still wet, you guys. So this probably need a little bit more time. Probably five hours. Yeah. Probably was too thick. But this ring right here. Oh, wow. That's perfect. It kind of looked like the peach rings that the kids eat, you guys. And the pineapples. The pineapples did great. Let me do a taste test. Mm-hmm. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Mm-hmm. So, the pineapples did great, you guys. And that peach... That's perfect right there. But I'm gonna have to put my this tray back on. But these right here are good. But these right here, they're still too soft. Another like five hours. So if you're doing peaches, peaches need more time than pineapples. The pineapples are perfect. Mm, it's good, y'all. The pineapples are good for 14 hours. Let me try the peach. Almost like a fruit roll-up. Shake care. Mmm. Yeah. That's good, y'all. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. Peaches have to be very thin for drying out for 14 hours. Pineapples, perfect for 14 hours. Even down to the second from the bottom rack. Look at that. They're delicious, you guys. So, in my last rack, that was the bottom rack. Looks good. Everything nice and dry. Delicious. You can vacuum seal them. You can put them in a Ziploc bag. And I'm um, just having your refrigerator on your counter for your kids for snacks. This is better than eating candy. These two right here are good. I'll take these off and I'll put these back in for another about five hours. But yeah, you guys, this is my dehydrator. And I love it. And like I said, I got it about three or four years ago for 30 bucks. But um, you can get them different prices um go on the internet i don't know if you're gonna find one for 30 bucks because that was like three or four years ago and you know with the inflation and everything but um I think this is a good thing to have i can't wait to dry apples my grandmother used to dry apples a long time ago so i can't wait to try the dry apples you guys i just want to thank you for watching me if you like this video Please hit like, share, and subscribe, family. And I love you guys, but I love the most high more. Okay? Shalom.